All right, um, today I want to take a look at the um, some some of the toys from Meteorite Toys. Um, I thought it would maybe be a bit easier and a bit more convenient for me to just do things by brand because um, my frequency of posting is a bit less and uh, then I can do just one and then one done um, because you know I, I, don't, I don't feel like I need to do a billion um, videos of individual toys as much anymore. So <clears throat> Yeah, here is the um, some of the toys that I, I have collected um, from the Meteorite toy line. And um, first off, I would like to kind of talk about the Kabu. Um, this is the Kabu, and uh, it's supposed to be the um, pilot for the their more um, well-known uh, character, which is that robot. I think it's like RX something, 7, 87, I don't know, uh, 78. So if we were to remove the head of the pilot of that robot, I think there's like a little pilot guy, uh, very small, yay small, and then this is the uh, character that they made based off of it. I thought that was really cool um, to make like a full size character that's kind of um, based off that little con like little part in your toy. I thought I really I really enjoy that actually, um, and. Uh, there's this, there's a lot to love about this guy. First, um, the goofy design is very cool. It's got this weird back. It kind of looks like you know what they do in like in the Matrix, where they kind of plug it in to like a plug suit. I don't know why it was it called a plug suit. I don't know. Um, but it also reminds me a bit like a like a bug, like a cockroach back. So um, really weird, really weird, uh, really cool. And uh, it's got little like oh, I think my brightness is not really well done today. Um, it's got little like dots on the side you guys to see like like gold dots in between for like little bumps or pimples that he has which is quite cool too and um, it comes with a lot of really cool accessories I don't have all of them on hand I do have all of them I just I just can't find my other ones um, there's these there's like a Mothra kind of like club it's a Mothra looking thing and then it's a club um, and then there's like a briefcase but it looks like a very spire era briefcase so it's got a little gun in the front so it's really cool it's a really cool neat idea um don't know why uh he needs to run like you need to have so many things when you're just wearing boxers and then sitting in a robot but you know very cool i really so it's a lot of fun it's goofy it's it's great um the arm comes off it actually detaches they have a like an alternative arm which is kind of like uh more like uh, how do you describe that? It's more alien-like. It's more like kind of like a two tentacle thing, um, and it's in still in the same um, kind of um, skin color. And uh, if you take off the arm, uh, it's a bit hard to take off, so I'm not gonna demo that now. Um, but there's like a bone that's kind of jutting out from the inside, so that's another way to display it. And I thought that was super cool, um, just giving you that option to display it like that. Um, it's just you have so much displayability or playability with this guy, uh, which is what I really like about um, the sculpt itself. And uh, colorway wise, um, this is my favorite colorway, which is why I bought it. Um, the other ones I'm not as personally um, like as much, but this is much more expensive uh, just because the colorway is you know, more popular. Um, and there, But you can get them for super cheap actually. Um, oh, by the way, these things come out. So it reminds you kind of like the easy, like it reminds you of like Easy Monster, this guy's design. Um, these kind of falling out, which is like a lot, a lot, like incredible amount of playability with the, this guy. So really, really, um, like you can buy the the other colorways for really cheap, like the marble one, or like the copper ones, or like the stone one. Those go for really cheap. Um, so if you're interested in just like the design aspect and playability and just want to mess around with it, I think that those are really good choices. Um, to, to pick up this one, if you get lucky, yeah, um, you get it at retail, awesome, right? Um, so yeah, but a lot of these ones and the other colorways, I think, are in less than retail now. So, but but the, this toy is really really solid, I think. Like the, you can see the playability, the the poseability, and whatnot is very creative. Um, the thing is, this reminds me a lot of like the Izu Monsters stuff. Um, the header card also copies that with a lot of really colorful, um, writings and colorways. So it's definitely something to keep in mind, I think. I think they were just kind of took their inspiration for that uh, based on it. The other is this kind of like treasure box. Um, I didn't know it was a meteorite toy, to be honest, and then I found out, and uh, it's really cool. 
Um, it kind of expands out into like different um, area themes. And you can see like in the back, there's, um, you can see that the hand is there. But in the back, it's just like skeletons, which is really cool. Um, it's really goofy, it's really fun. There's um, an alternative head that you can use. Uh, I don't have that out right now. Um, alternative head that you can use. It comes in a nice little box package and uh, it's a lot of fun. So these are really just fun, playable and uh, what I really like about them. But there's all like overarching theme. You see this is a pilot from a robot. This is a dude in a, a dude in a treasure chest. Very different but very fun uh, nevertheless. So um, I still think that it's a really cool thing to pick up. And uh, relatively cheap. I think this is, you can just pick it up second hand at retail. So, you know. Um, this guy is the space guy. Uh, no, sorry, the crusher. Uh, it's a collaboration with Soul Man. And uh, it's massive, right? So here's here's this guy. Um, this is a, I guess in like in North America, maybe this is a medium Starbucks, like a medium, sorry, cup of Tim's. For in China, this is actually a large cup. This is large. I think large in, in like other parts is probably this big, I don't know. Um, but this is really huge. This guy is huge um, compared to the other guys. Uh, this is a real head figure, right? Okay, this is a real head figure. This is this, like, a head and a half, like two heads taller. So, huge guy. I didn't think he was gonna be this big. You guys, I didn't think he was gonna be this big. Very huge, um, very um, firm, very, like, it feels very um, solid and well built, like, very thick, uh, which I like. And um, yeah, this is this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the crusher. Um, very cool. It's a collaboration with uh, Meteorite Twin and Zillman. And um, the, I think the head, this part comes off. I think this part comes off and it reveals a, uh, a brain, a robot brain, which is cool. I don't really take it off much because I don't know where to put this once I take it off. So, you know, and Colorway wise, um, I think this is pretty cool colorway to be honest. I think it could have been better. Um, I really like the second colorway that came out, the one that is in red. But this guy works fit, fits very well together when I display it with these kind of like muted, more darker colors. So I think these guys go together quite well and this is how I usually have my oops, uh, toy displayed here. So overall very cool. Um, very big. He doesn't really, my, my thing uh, with this is that when I put this with the other Zolman toys, it doesn't really fit. Um, just stylistically, design-wise, um, perhaps I, I think this might fit a bit better with like a fancy toy line, but I don't really have many figures from the fancy toy line. So yeah, and then the way it's sculpted, yeah, there's like divots and dents in the legs, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, we wanted to put it with the Space Guy itself. The Space Guy is actually super smooth. If you guys have seen my like video, uh, the, the joints, uh, sorry, the, the, the legs and whatever, the body, very smooth, very perfect. Um, and in the sense that it's smooth, not, not like in the sense that does, you know, it's nothing wrong with having um, like a more like, what is it, handmade kind of feel to it. Um, yeah, but so it's very smooth. So I don't know if that fits really well together. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's my gripe about having, like, a Zolman collab, is that now your Zolman collabs don't really fit with your old toys, which is okay, I guess. Um, you know, you just do what you want, right? So, but it's really cool. I, I think that the choice of working with Meteor Toy, with someone that's, like, has these really creative outputs, is, is a good idea. Um, I just don't know... Maybe, maybe they have like a whole line design down the line that they're all going to fit together. I was more hoping that, you know, um, that brand itself would keep more consistent um, sculpts and get most like stylistically um, more consistent so that you would be able to put it all together and it kind of makes sense. Um, but right now when I put these with my other Zolwin toys, it looks a bit off. So uh, I, I don't put them together, that's, that's the end. And then, so I end up putting them together with like other just of similar colors, um, which is a bit of a bummer, um, but also okay, um, because you know, I need something taller with these dark guys. Just, that's just luck from my end. And uh, which makes this very, like this looks fucking awesome. This looks, sorry, did I swear? This looks really awesome um, together like this. So I'm very happy, um, but it would have been cool if, um, like Zoman collabs or so many things 
would fit better with my Zoman collection a bit better. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just crazy and maybe I'm, I'm you know, silly and it does fit and I'm just kind of weird. Possible. Quite weird. Um, and uh, another thing about this is that um, if you check their Instagram or if you check their like hashtags, I think, there's another version where the face is just a single, uh, like an like an ogre single headed, uh, single eyed ogre face and with arms instead of these two horns. Um, that I was, so that was the reason why I was debating if I should pick this guy up or not is um, because there's like an alternative version that I kind of like better. But I ended up going with this. Actually, what I like is I paired the one eye guy with no arms because um, I like the concept that has no arms. Uh, it's more interesting, I feel, and uh, it goes more with like the Vapora or like it's too, t it feels very typical to just have like arm, like legs and arms, two legs and two arms is like very standard. So I thought this was more interesting in the concept itself. And uh, so, and, and that that's why I end, but I end up going with this guy anyway. I just wanted to see how it was. I actually thought that it was going to be like this big, but it's massive. Um, the legs aren't jointed. There's nothing, there's nothing that can move. Um, as far as I know, I think maybe, the, no, there's nothing that can move. There's nothing that can move. And, uh, it's just like that. I think maybe the torso, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's not, I don't know. It's a bit hard. It's maybe stuck. Um, yeah, the legs don't move. Nothing moves. Um, it's kind of like the Mad Baron, but, uh, with the Mad Baron, I think it was too thin, the legs and, uh, the Bino part wasn't thick enough, which is why it's prone to like leaning and being weird and breaking. This is a bit a lot more solid and a lot more thick, so I thought I think maybe this will be fine. And uh, I don't think there will be much um, with like balancing issues. You do see that it's a bit heavier in the in the front, but uh, overall I think it should be okay because uh, they do have these things jetted on the back that kind of balance it off. So yeah, this is the um, meteorite toy line. Um, overall, I um, just observation wise, right? Uh, I feel like the toy line itself is very creative. Um, I wish that sometimes, I don't know if it's right or not to, to want to have continuity within that brand, uh, like theme wise, like Elgab, always monsters, all the same, very, very similar sculpts, very similar styles. Um, Uamu, right, almost just all, it's very similar styles, very similar, like Instinct Toys, similar styles. Kojika even like robot and then, but always dinosaurs are always like cute um, as dinosaurs the sculpt and whatever it feels very similar but with meteorite toy it's feels like it's a bit over, all over the place um, but they're always really creative so it feels like more like like an independent artist that's just like oh I like this today I saw this um, I want to try and do something I have an idea and then I, I implement it and it, it turns out really well so um, I think there's that, that um, they have these really creative, they, they try and take a lot of creative elements and then they implement things really well and uh, I think that's a lot, They're, That that's something that's quite valuable um, to, to go for with that brand. So yeah, this has been a longer video, I think that these are the formats that I would like to try and go for um, because, you know, there's more things to look at, um, it's less repetitive, I get to talk about more things and go off tangents a bit more. So I hope that that's a format that you guys are prefer. Um, but if not, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. Oh 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 oh. Okay okay, don't freak out. Okay okay, we'll do a hug. Okay we'll do a hug, and then I'll go up and then I'll pause it. Okay. Okay good boy. Good girl. Good girl. Sorry sorry sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.